Stephanie from Innovation Baby and I wanted to show you how we made this um, DIY built-in desk for two with lots of storage. So we originally had the house looking like this before we had our extension so it was separated into a small kitchen and a dining room living area and there is currently a wall here roughly where the TV is and this is where the new desk has been built on that wall with the mirror. So we started off with some massive sheets, they were MDF um, 2440 by 1220 and 18 mils. So we bought a Ryobi circular saw and we used this to cut down all the pieces um, and it worked out a lot cheaper to do it with a large sheet rather than a small sheet, but it caused a lot of dust. Um, we also bought a Craig pocket hole jig to create the cabinet units um, and they're really nifty and it really gives a really good finish to create a cabinet. I will be making more videos on how we made these in detail but for now I'm just going to sort of give you a quick rundown on how we put it together really. Um, so we made this cabinet first out of MDF which created, we made two of those and added in the drawers as well and created the drawers with a hard board sort of bottom to them and then these created our two cabinets that we had either side and um, we also created a larger one which was to house the printer as well in the middle um, make sure you get all your electrics all plugged through before you start sort of attaching it to the walls um, we used this wood filler to fill in all the little holes that you can't see and we gave it all a good sand down um, all around the sides, all these edges of these MDF edges, you need to give them a really, really good sand down and then paint the edges all with a watered down PVA to help seal them, like here. And then this creates a bit of a nicer finish on the edges with where it's MDF. We used um, Leyland Trade Acrylic Primer Undercoat and we painted the entire things, um, primed all the edges and everything like that. Um, we, we did print paint paint in the middle in the end but we weren't sure if we had enough so we used this actual paint that we used and we had it color matched to a farron bowl, um, bowl french gray and we got it from decorators online and we painted absolutely everything all the door fronts all the drawer edges and everything like that and got that to that stage because then you need to look at getting your work tops on we purchased this worktop um, from Worktop Express. It's three meters long by 620 depth and 22 mil and that gave us one solid piece that went from wall to wall and fitted in here and was supported at all ends and the middle. You need to get on your handles um, because you need to make sure you can open the doors and everything before you lock everything all in with the work done. Then we used this um, this attachment on the Ryobi um, screwdriver because then this allowed us to drill a nice perfect lovely hole to be able to put all the cables through to the unit underneath and so we can hide everything. We gave it a good sand down um, which was very dusty but gave it a nice nice finish. Then we moved on to the top section and then created these two cupboard units here and then we have one in the middle with some shelving. And we also wanted to put in the Philips Hue um, strip lighting, which we absolutely love. Make sure you look at which versions they are. These are version 4s. And we ran a small cable up the back of the piece of MDF that was to the right that was hidden. And then we put Cornice and Palmet on and attached the lights underneath behind there. So you can't see them, so it gives a lovely look to the units. So it's where you need to attach your um, Cornice up the top here and your Palmet just below caulk everything every little gap caulk it this is what gives it this built-in look keep your paint and your pva on this section and just repeat basically primer sand primer sand paint sand wipe down all of that keep doing that we had two coats of primer two coats of color and wipe down and sanded down every single stage as we went through to give it a lovely nice finish we attached the skirting boards around the edges to which then we then painted those as well and then it was time to get the hinges on the door so we just had cabinet hinges along the top and then we put in like a gas struts on the side so they don't slam down and they keep them nice and closed and hold them all open like this so here's our finished look just before we were ready to um, oil down the worktop but here i'm so pleased with it so this is the oil we used um, we actually used this on our wood flooring as well you need to uh, wire wall it in between coats, 
wipe down, make sure the dust is free, and then this is our finished look. To which we are just we we're just blown away with it. Really, we're so pleased with it. We've never done anything like this before. Um, we've never made cabinets, so to make cabinets from scratch was um, a big challenge, but we've done it. So I wanted to give you a little look at all the storage we've got. We've got these drawers here. We've got the cabinets underneath that are going to hold the computer, you know, desktop actual computer systems we made sure we've got access to our plug sockets here that's where the Philips Hue are plugged in and then run up the side of this edge of the wall on the right um, painted the cables to try and make things look like they're there a bit more and a little bit more integrated and made to build so this I'm over the moon with look at this cabinet this is where we house our printer but because it's a big laser printer it needs to be able to pull out to be able to get access to lift the top up please it's not the dust that was terrible it is now clean um, and you can see here look at it, it a nice sturdy drawer to hold it all because it's pretty heavy and it's brilliant and look at all the storage we've got so I can now hide lots and lots of things away so that is ticks all my boxes and it just has a really lovely finished built-in look which is what we wanted so I was going to show you the Philips Hue lights that we can control from um, our phones or our Googles, which we really love having in the house. And we've just popped them up there behind this helmet and you cannot see them, which is brilliant. And it just creates a lovely warm colour um, to which you can have. This is pink and this is white. So we can have any colour we want. And here we've got a warm white and this is on its when it's finished. So this is all fill up got the computers in and there we go there's my little setup now so it makes a lovely um just has a lovely feeling about it and just so warm and inviting i can keep everything hidden in the cupboards i can keep all my folders together keep the desktops hidden it's just um yeah i just really love it um so i hope you do too and like i said i will show how we made them in more detail um, so keep an eye out for those hit the subscribe button for me but give me a like because I hope you like this too so we've got some little plants here I made these um, prints in the frames with the foil little candle holders a couple of little plants some storage pot tops for us to put candles and things in this a couple of boxes here for my camera and bits and bobs for the computer and all my little filing system which I now love because all my paperwork's in one place a um, little sand timer to make sure I get up and keep walking to help my back. Nice containment here with lots of little bits in the drawer to keep it all not a mess. So there you go. There's the finished look and here it is in its room. And yeah, I'm so pleased we went for this. It's created such a practical, functional and pretty area of the room and it actually makes the room look bigger. So thank you very much for watching and um, keep out looking for more videos from me.